because this is not your man if you have to explain yourself and if you have to teach him how to treat you and if you have to tell him what exactly do you want because if man wants something with you he will initiate this you will know his intentions he will take this initiative towards you and put these efforts and if he didn't you don't want to give him a shortcut because if you say it you only show your desperation you show that you have no other options and you show that you don't really respect yourself <sighs> and every time you get in distant you do this silently you show oh shut up ladies if you're watching this video let me give you some free dating advice communicating with a man clearly plainly and without playing mind games doesn't make you look desperate it actually makes you more endearing indeed now if you want to date a mind reader i got the perfect guy for you oh, what can feel your thoughts Bruh. but real talk playing the passive aggressive read my mind game isn't gonna get you a serious relationship with a man but it will get you ghosted and it will keep you single and miserable just like most tiktok dating coaches intended so you keep buying their crap when men go silent what are they really thinking about? Pretty much this. Leave me alone, please leave me alone. 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 You didn't tell mom and dad you're doing. Someone else beat me to it. This friend I used to have pulled up to my mom's house with her mom. They went on the website, paid for the video and everything, showed my mom. And then my mom was super supportive because my mom's the crazy lady on the block. She went on top of the car, spread her legs and was like, what, what, don't you like it? What? My mom's the crazy lady on the block. She went on top of the car, spread her legs and was like, what, what, don't you like it? <laughs> You are damaged goods, lady. Bruh. You know, guys, I've given some women flack on this channel for procreating with men who shouldn't be fathers. But real talk, if you as a man procreate with proper garden tools, most likely all that's gonna breed is more proper garden tools. And it'll be your last name they drag through the mud. I'm high maintenance. Fascinating. No! And I put a lot of effort into how I present myself into the world. And so when I go on a date with a man and he does not stop to tell me that I look beautiful. Ma'am, you're average looking at best. It raises a question mark for me. It's not because I need validation. Every day, more lies. I own several mirrors and am very aware of what I look like. Bruh. But it's because appreciation is a fundamental building block of any relationship that I want to be a part of. I invest in personal development and growth through therapy, coaching programs. You know what I've noticed lately? The vast majority of women I see on TikTok say they're in some kind of therapy or coaching program, but in the same breath claim that they're strong and independent. I invest in clothes that make me feel good. I invest in makeup that enhances how I appear. And the way that I show up in the world, the way that I show up on dates is the summation of all of those investments that I have made into myself. So someone not acknowledging that shows at best a lack of awareness and at worst, an unwillingness to appreciate the efforts of those closest to him. And that makes me feel like we're not compatible. Well, sweetie, if a woman needs therapy, coaching, and several layers of construction grade makeup just to be a semi-functioning 5.5 on a good day, but expects to be treated like a 10, you're right, we're not compatible. Cause, how do I explain this in a nice way? If I want to ride in a BMW, I'm going to ride in a BMW, not in a junker pretending to be a BMW. And that's the bottom line, because don't go sit <laughs>